of the best ways to preserve your flour is to keep it in an airtight container. Even though this is a sealed paper bag of flour, like most flour comes, it doesn't take long for those little dust miller moths to find their way inside. You can buy pretty containers for storing flour and sugar in your dry goods, or you can use a glass jar that had something else in it first, like pickles or sauerkraut, that's what we're using. These kind of jars are great because they seal very well with this rubber seal at the top. This large of a jar is also nice because you can put your whole hand in there to put a scoop and also for washing. This method works great for any dry goods, flour, rice, grits, oatmeal. It's convenient to have it in the individual packages, but if you are buying in bulk because you found a deep discount, then you need to be able to store it for a longer period of time. When you fill it to the top, Rotate it back and forth quickly to get all the air out. You can see with that spinning, we got a good couple inches down. You wanna fill this all the way to the top to get as much air out as possible. Make sure the top edge is clear of any debris so that the lid will really seal. Seal it up. With a permanent marker, you can write directly on the glass exactly what it is. That's a safe, easy, and free way to store your dry goods for a lot longer.